Today, I am going to solve a problem on homologation in organic chemistry. You can find this problem in CSR NET exam 2015 December. Here is the problem. When this organoborine is treated with this lithium anion followed by mercury chloride, then H2O2 NaOH, what is the product? The given options are here. First one, the boron part, it has been removed and pH has been introduced. Second one, CH2OH has been introduced instead of boron part. Third one, it is same, it is CH2OH, but the stereochemistry, it is different. Fourth one, CHO has been introduced at the place of boron. In order to solve this, you should know the mechanism of hydroboration oxidation. Before solving the problem, I would like to explain what are the methods are available for homologation. First one, it is Tiffano Demjano rearrangement. In this, a cyclic ketone, I have taken a 5 member. When this is treated with nitromethane, the presence of a base, it undergoes nitro aldol reaction to give this product base takes this proton and the anion attacks attacks here so this reaction is called nitro aldol reaction this NO2 it is reduced and converted into amine this amine upon diassociation gives this disonium salt Diastasis generally it is carried out HNO2 or NaNO2 H plus. Nowadays, instead of this HNO2, there is another reagent that is tertiary butyl nitrite. So since it is organic, this is better reagent compared to any NO2 and H+. Nowadays, the synthetic chemists generally they use this tertiary butyl nitrate, not any NO2 and H+. Now, since this is a very good leaving group, this bond comes here. So, what we get is homologation. So 5 member ring got converted into 6 member ring. This step you can compare with pinacol pinacolone rearrangement. In pinacol pinacolone rearrangement there will be alcohol that is converted into leaving group by the addition of H plus. Then there will be positive charge then alcohol comes down and migrates. So similar reaction similar rearrangement takes place here. This is the first one, Tiffano Demjano rearrangement. Second one, it is by Wittig reaction. For example, I take cyclopentanol. This, when this is treated with
with this Wittig salt. This is prepared from the corresponding chloride or bromide. Call it mom chloride and triphenyl phosphine. So this is very good protecting group for alcohol. When you add triphenyl phosphine to this, you get the salt. Then you have to add a base, maybe sodium hydride. You will get the anion. When this anion attacks here, you get the Wittig product, the stereochemistry, maybe any direction. In this case, it doesn't matter. In the case of substituted ketone, it may be cis or trans. But in this cyclopentanone, since both are same, it doesn't matter. Since it is, it is enol ether, when I add H plus, enol ether undergoes hydrolysis to give this enol. When I write this in keto form, in this case it is aldehyde, so I get this compound. Now compared to this, there is one carbon extra. So this is called homologation. In this problem, we go for organoborane compound. Even though the mechanism is interesting, the synthetic application of this method is almost nil. You may find a few papers on this. Generally, the synthetic chemists don't go for this particular method to increase the number of carbon. The first step this boron is attacked by this lithium anion. What is the electrophilic position in this compound? There is no CO or there is no C double bond N or there is no leaving group. So where is the electrophilic position? Since it is boron compound, this is del plus. So the compound has to attack here. If you recall the mechanism of hydroboration oxidation, it will be very useful for you now. I go for oxidation in the presence of H2O2 and NaOH. What happens? Boron compound. When it is treated with this anion generated from H2O2 by the reaction with NaOH. This attacks here. Since it is del plus. A similar thing happens here also. Here it is lithium anion this attacks here so what we get similarly we get an intermediate like this Then what happens here? The R group migrates here and this OH is the leaving group. So this OH it is the leaving group. If you compare that and here there is no leaving group in this. SPH it is not leaving group. OME it is not leaving group. So instead of this oxygen we have CH. Instead of OH, we have SPH and OME. In this case, OH acts as living group, but here there is no living group. To convert this into living group, we add mercury chloride. This mercury, it has strong affinity for sulfur. So that's why sulfur compounds are called mercaptans, mercury captures. 
so they can bind to sulfur so once the mercury is bound to sulfur then the whole thing acts as leaving group in this case it is OH minus here the whole moiety acts as leaving group so this migrates here this goes so what you get is CH3 in this case it is so all the three are they undergo a similar migration to give this compound which undergo hydrolysis to give or OH so this is hydroboration oxidation now when this is treated with NaOH and H2O2 a reaction whatever I have described here that will take place so O minus OH will attack here then this group will migrate again since this is arnoborin this alkyl group will migrate so we will get OH in this position that is this compound this compound the functional group basically it is hemiacetal OH and OME cannot stay on the same carbon so what happens this is the living group what we end up with is so the stereochemistry here it is retained throughout the mechanism so what we get is aldehyde not alcohol the given options are here the first one pH so this pH may be from SPH but this is not possible second one OH even though we get we go for hydroboration oxidation since there is OME it eliminates to give aldehyde so this is the product even though they have given cis and trans isomer it doesn't matter this is not the product the answer is 4 already have mentioned this reaction is not widely used in organic synthesis you may find 3 or 4 reports on that but the chemistry and the mechanism may be interesting thank you for watching have a nice day